What's up timekeepers, me Tom Gamer here are gonna be trying out a little demo for you guys called Artania. So if you're ready, I'm ready, time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm gonna be trying out a small little demo that's available on Steam right now. It's a game coming out on September 28th called Artania. Basically it's a post-apocalyptic survival game. Uh I don't know if it's like Fallout or anything, but we'll have to see. Basically, you own your own train and you go to location to location to try to survive and you have random encounters. It's a non-linear linear story, if I remember. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and find out what the game is. So let's go. Have you ever heard the stories about the end? Yes, exactly about that absolute end, when humanity is drowning into the depth of the abyss. I'm sure you heard a lot of this, and I've heard one too. But this one is not about an apocalypse where zombies occupy the streets, neither about the aliens that came from the above, neither is about made-up worlds, but rather about our reality, about people. Whoa. As predicted, the invention of the nuclear weapons has changed it all. Never before has murder been of this vast scale and this destructive. After the decline of the USSR, the biggest in the world arsenal of weapons was divided between new established countries, Russia, Atania, Ukraine, and other young and ambitious nations. Yes, yes. A couple of world leaders understood that such a wide-scale spreading of nuclear weapons among young and stable political regimes can turn into a great catastrophe. Meanwhile, weak democracies who are falling under the pressure of authoritarian traditions, new dictators and military junta were coming to power. This is how the project of Budapest Memorandum was born. A treaty about nuclear disarmament of post-Soviet countries. A treaty that was supposed to secure the world from a nuclear catastrophe. Oh, did I press something? I'm stupid, I accidentally pressed something. Alright then, sorry about that. My name is... Oh, it doesn't matter now. I'm just one of the stray girls in a dead world. There's no one to call me. But today my life has changed rapidly. Okay. I found something special. Okay, we'll go in the direction it was pointing us. Footstep sounds a bit weird. Is that, is that a train over there? Ahead you could recognize a small wooden building through the fog, and an old industrial locomotive standing next to it. That was a sawmill. I took it from the stumps there everywhere. Can I add, can I add cart? What do you, what do you call those again? The back of a train? Caboose? No, not caboose. I don't, I don't remember. That'd be cool though if you... Sorry, the footsteps are a bit weird, but... Oh. Chop, chop, chop. Alright. Hello? Let's keep... Is that a... Is that a dead person? Oh my god. Okay. The soldier. Can I crouch? No. That's, uh, that's too bad. Can I get into somewhere? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I had to, I had to right, left click the mouse. Okay. So I guess we're gonna set up shit to... In case that this chucklehead forgets everything I've explained to him during an hour long instruction, I'm leaving you a brief one about starting an engine. To heat the boiler and prepare it for motion, you need to 
Start fire with the help of a lighter and enough fuel. The boiler, the boiler's door have to be closed. Adjust the supply of steam to the engine with the help of a lever in the boiler's center. Adjust the speed with a valve on the right from the boiler. I recommend that you turn the acceleration valve slowly to give the boiler enough time to heat up. Hope that's all right, and your new operator won't forget anything. And just in case, how to get in touch with you? Good luck. All right. So, do I need? Can I have a hatchet to defend myself? Against what? I have no clue. Hmm. That is a generator. Okay, I guess everything's already in the train. See if we can go get into here. Oh. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're in the train. In the caboose. Alright, let's open the door. Hmm. I guess it's not a time yet. It's not the time yet. I guess it's not the time yet. Good old Nepo. Such a pity there's no petrol. No petrol. The water barrel is totally empty, but there's some petrol left in the can. I guess it was used for a generator or a chainsaw. Alright, now we got a lighter. Guess I can't smoke in the game. Let's, let's read the instructions again, just to make sure. To heat the boiler, prayer motion, you need to start fire with the help of a lighter. Enough fuel, the boiler door has to be closed. Adjust the supply of steam, the engine with the help of the liver in the boiler center. Okay, adjust the speed of the valve on the right from the boiler. I recommend that you turn the acceleration valve slowly to give the boiler enough time. Okay. I've seen a lot of bodies before. Killed during riots, frozen, suicides. But this one was different. Mm. He died recently. Military uniform and equipment. A badge. Armed forces of Atania. Apparently he was shot in the back. The bullet penetrated his bulletproof vest. In his hand, the man was holding a military radio. The transmission button is tightly fused. His pockets, they are empty except for a small bunch of keys. On his waist, there's a parabellum gun. On its holster, there's a writing. From father to son, Luger 08 to the Raisky family. I've seen a lot of bodies before. Killed during riots, frozen. Okay. I fired the gun and shot took another life with a round ball. I didn't have a choice. 
Sorry, little dog. <sighs> Alright, so... It's weird, I remember trying to inspect the guy earlier and I couldn't. But I see now that there... I noticed earlier that the reticle gets bigger when I can use something. the fuel I'm an idiot I saw it finally close the door ah yes yes oh. there we go all the systems were ready I had to pack everything I needed there was a long road ahead. Can I not look around? Choo choo! Oh, okay. Alright guys, well that was the demo for Artania. Uh, the game needs a lot of polishing, I have to say. I don't, well, I don't know if like the sounds are a bit weird and stuff like that. The game, I do see a lot of potential in this game. I would have to see the full game itself to actually give it a good critique. Some of the sound like the walking is a bit weird and then it gets a bit annoying. But I like the concept of the train. Uh, it didn't show much though, so I have to see. This is, is a game made in Unity. I have to say it looks pretty nice for a game made in Unity. Uh, I know it's not a knock on Unity, it's just sometimes Unity is more of a cartoony kind of looking games a lot of the time, but this is very nice. I wish more, I wish more engines would use the, the startup feature that uh, Unity has where it gives you that prompt screen. Uh, um, with most, most Unity game, it's going to give you that right before it launches the game, it's going to launch a little, a little, a little pre-game launch window or whatever. To, to allow you to set the, the the resolution and windowed or not windowed and stuff like that which really helps because like me i have a bad computer so it really helps me adjust the settings i run right away instead of waiting till the game like launching a new game it's trying to run everything on ultra or most of the time and then it just sluggishly tries to go to the fucking i uh, try to go to the option menu to adjust it to bring it down a bit for the setting for me uh, but yeah, so it was a cool little demo. Uh, this game this has a lot of potential. We'd have to see the final. This might be an older version of the game. I, I have no clue. Uh, but it does look it does look quite interesting uh, to see what the game can be and all that stuff. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Of course, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. Of course, you can follow me everywhere. Me time gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram. And of course, right here, youtube.com forward slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So, thanks so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm.